G'day everyone, welcome back. Today I won't be getting all, well, a whole lot of jobs done. Henry will, he's out spraying. Myself, I've got a Zoom meeting at 10, followed by the accountants here for the rest of the day. So I've got about two hours to try and get some jobs done. So let's get into it. We'll start with the package that I was holding. So these are our uh, four inch cam locks. So now, where well, I don't need them, but I'll keep them because these are, those are the ones I like compared to the, if, well, go back to the other video and you see they're like really big looking, weird looking ones. So I've got, I've got them just in case we, uh, just in case we need to change them over if they're leaking or something like that. Uh, so we have just been in town for the last two days. We have done our working at heights course and our confined spaces course. So Henry and I are now fully trained up on everything. We've done our chem, well, Auschem. We've done our forklift. We've done our working at heights and our confined spaces. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a whole bunch of gobbledygook. It's not much. Uh, yeah, the the tests are a bit silly, and then the practicals are even sillier. So yeah, I don't know. I'll leave it at that. Except for uh, you know, if you're a farmer, you've got to go and get all those four. So if you haven't got them, get them. You uh, if you're working at heights, you need it. If you are getting into a silo, you need it. If you're driving a forklift, you need it. And if you're using chemical, you need it. So go and get them. Now. We're walking down to Bandit. Now, uh, case whilst I was in town, the parts finally arrived for the uh, for the hydraulic fittings out the back for the high flow returns. So let's go and see if uh, if it's all done. Moment of truth. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. Let me get around there. Okay, so they have uh, been able to hook that one in there. And then they've adjusted all this, and then, yeah, fantastic. Um, yeah, so these are our, our fans, so it's a high flow return. Over here is a power beyond. Uh, I am, honestly, I'm not too sure what that's for. Uh, that obviously supplies power. It must be supplying a high flow hydraulic um, oil to the back, or yeah. You guys who have cases, you'll be able to tell me what that Power Beyond is for. I honestly don't know. But that's fantastic. They've got all the pieces up. They've got all that. They've changed our fittings. So that there, they've changed. That was a different fitting. Uh, and also on that one, so it fits into their, their hydraulics. And then while they were there, they also um, changed our, uh, this is our case drain. Uh, we had a um, just a normal nipple, it needed a flat one. We had one on the, on the chaser bin. But uh, they were coming out and we said, oh, just chuck it on. So then we're not having to swap them. Turn the chaser bin and here. So, you know what that means? We are able to go and try this. So, uh, I don't know how we're going to go with this because it's just me. Um, we'll see if I can have a go at reversing up to this. I don't know if I'll be able to do it by myself. Uh, it's obviously a lot easier with two people and a little handheld two-way but uh yeah we'll see we'll see what i can do um oh, let me put you that's what i'm forgetting all right so this is the drawbar hitch it means that what i can do is i can I can hook up if I'm, that's very hard to reverse straight. Basically I can get it back to here. Say if I get my, the bar to here, all I need to do is go like that. Then I can just reverse in. Then all you do is you drive straight. That clicks it into the channel. I then just reverse up. That pushes back like that. And then you just gotta make sure it lines up and then I can get the pin back in there. So. Oh, let's go hop into Bandit, fire it up, see how we go. And I think it might actually be easier to have it folded out. So what I'll do is I'll just take out our safety pins now and uh, 
that way I can fold it out if I uh, so desire. The reason this is so hard to back up is it's got a steering axle it's to help you obviously turn. And, you know, this, this bar turns very tight and that's because it's got a steering axle. Now uh, reversing it back is a bit of a pain because that axle is just a nightmare. Uh, and you can see what I mean by I might need to uh, fold it out in order to actually see see the back there. Um, yeah, I'll just see how I go. If I can't get it, then I'm gonna have to just wait until I've got um, Henry or Dad here that can help me hook up, and then yeah, we'll be able to test it tomorrow. But um, I'd like to try and get it, so we'll see how we go. So you can see what I mean by this steering drawbar. Um, yeah, I've lost that. That's gonna go forward now. You, um, it's very uh, easy to lose the bar as you as you're driving, or as you're trying to reverse it up. But uh, a little bit of persistence and um, the magic of YouTube, and hopefully it'll be hooked up in a second. Yeah, the power of YouTube isn't as good as what I thought. So, <laughs> I got close. What I'm going to do is just fold the bar out. But I've got to, uh, I've got to now figure out how to uh, do the hydraulics. Everyone who's got a case or a new Holland will be laughing at me. But this is a very different screen to um, what we are used to in a John Deere. So I think I need to leave timer on and put that out to infinity. And this is obviously my flow rate. So we'll go. We'll go seven, seventy percent, and same with this one. It should. It should fold out. <laughs> Gonna go and check and make sure what banks I've got what. Well, that was never going to work because it's on bank three, not bank two. So we'll go down here. That's on infinity. Okay, bank three. Oh, look at that! It folds out. Amazing. I know that we are very crooked, but uh, I'm just going to get out and see how close we are to the uh, drawbar there. As I'm just walking past the tyre here, I thought I'd show you, uh, you know, so the stubble mats on there, like I was explaining when we, when we got banded, why we've got it. So this is what stubble rash looks like on a tyre, uh, if it's going to show up for you in the sunlight, I'm not too sure. But you can see how it's worn, it like wears the lugs out. So it gets right underneath, it wears all them out. And eventually, like possibly this year maybe, we might end up with some uh, pop tires from that. So yeah, we'll see how we go. All right, look at that. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty good. I'm, pre I'm pretty good. Look at that. Okay, we'll uh, lower this down and then I'll show you the magic. So, 
not as good as what I thought. I need to come back, yay much, and then uh, then we'll do the whole pull forward and yeah, I'll show you. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive forward, I'm going to get the all the machines straight, I then, uh, when I get straight, this pin will click into this channel back here. What I'll be able to do is I'll probably have to, I'll try it first, I'll then try and reverse, so then this will just come straight back and then the pin will go into its holder back here and then I can lock that pin in there. Now if I can't, sometimes what I'm going to do is block the bin so the bin actually stops because we're on a slight hill here it does roll back uh, so yeah we'll see how we go Let me show you. So it's locked in. This pin here is locked into its keeper there. But I can't, uh, as, you, as you saw, I did come back a bit violently. But um, that's not lined up. So now I do need to chuck the wheels so I can uh, make sure that that pin lines up. And then we can hook everything up. And we can even do a test. Look at that. Perfect. Oh no, not too bad. I do very much like how the the Borgo has this system. It makes it really easy for a uh, for one person to hook it up. It took me I don't know 20 minutes of from start to finish to get this all hooked up. Now if I had Henry here and it would have been done a lot quicker, but yeah, it's all done now. So that's all that matters. Now to uh, hook all my hydraulics up and uh, finally test this bar to make sure that everything is uh, in perfect working condition and ready for seating. Uh, the hydraulic fittings can't get any of them in I'm not sure why because we haven't actually uh, unless the uh, uh, the mechanic might have actually the mechanic most likely did fire up those hydraulics so I can't there's, there's too much pressure on these lines here so I'll go up and I'll float them and that might not even work what I might need to do is uh, a cardinal sin but you yeah, put a a uh, rag, a punch, and you just tap it so you can release the pressure. I got one in, so I should be able to get the rest in, hopefully. No, not that one. 
Oh, not that one. That one goes in. Those two I'm gonna to have to uh, be naughty on. Okay, you try and avoid doing this at all costs. You can damage, obviously, the, uh, the nipple in there if you're not doing it this, you know, safely or correctly. Also, you gotta be careful. Tractor is off, no hydraulics are on, I've floated it. Um, yeah, you gotta be careful because when you do release this, it does, you know, squirt a hole, There's a, it's full of pressure, so it does squirt, you know, a bit of uh, hydraulic oil everywhere. So that's why I've got myself a nice rag, I've got my punch, and then uh, hopefully, I'm just gonna tap it just a little bit. And there we go, we've got some oil coming out. So we'll see if that was enough. Perfect, so we'll do the other one. Make sure we've got enough rag on. You want to use the rag so you're protecting the uh, you're protecting the um, the nipple in there. Alright. And that's moving. A whole bunch of oil came out of that one. There we go. Is that cooked in? Alright, that's all done. One more hydraulic fitting. This is our, our case drain. To be honest, I don't know how much this actually gets used. Done. Alright, let's hook up some uh, electrics and then we'll get in the cab. Make sure she's all working. Uh, we might not hook the fan up. I'm running out of time. We might just fold up, go out, put it in the ground, and then we'll hook these hoses up later because that really is a two-man job. I would uh, probably hurt my back if I did that by myself. So we'll just, uh, I'll leave that. I can already see one issue. We've got, uh, they're not flat, but they're both slack those two tires there obviously we need to go around and uh, check all the tire pressures pump everything back up so it's all at the correct level uh, that's how this machine gets to its being level yeah have to have all your tires at a correct pressure so we're going to throw this oily oily rag out and then we'll jump in that tractor right <laughs> have, uh, the controller for the for the uh, screen up there is actually uh, in the barn grill I've got to get everything in here but cameras are uh, on. Obviously I haven't got the other screen on because I don't have that. Um, if we go on here, configuring ECU. Now I will obviously run the fans up. Uh, if it won't be today, it'll be tomorrow. It's just I don't want to try and hook the, the hoses on by myself uh, because it's a very difficult job. It takes like two people uh, to get them into place and then lift them up to clip them in. If I was trying to do that by myself, I think I will injure my back and uh, I don't want that. So we've got it all hooked up. So we'll go for a drive, pull it out to the paddock just here, drop the tines in, cause uh, I want to look at that, you want to look at that. And uh, yeah, then that might actually be me for uh, for now. And then yeah, I'll get back to it on uh, tomorrow, Friday, but let's have a look here. So we should have our bin all set up. Yep, she's all connected. We can turn them on, which uh, then correlates up here, so I can turn those ones on. So she's uh, she's all working. Um, I'm glad that all works. I do want to obviously run the fan up to make sure that the fan, well, one, I've got it in the right right way at the back there, and then just make sure that the, all the sensors are working, everything like that. Blow any cobwebs out, and then uh, I've got to do a full point change. I need to check any hoses, replace hoses. We shouldn't need to do any chains or anything like that. We did that last year. Uh, at the end of the year, we've done all the bushes on the wheels. That was fun. Uh, but yeah, check press wheels. 
um, grease press wheels, yeah, the whole shebang needs to be done. So let's uh, get this thing folded up and uh, yeah, we'll get on our way. Let's uh, let's go for it. Let's um, yeah. Let's get started. Oh, where are you going, tractor? Where are you going? Come back. Well, I don't know what's going on there. Because it was online, and now we're uh, way offline. Let's uh, give us some revs. Might go down a gear. There we go. Tines down. So good so far. Let's. Um, We, uh, our packing pressure is really high, so we're just going to bring that down to about there. Look at that, we're even into row sewing. What am I worried about with barley? We, uh, we're underway, everyone. Not that we're actually seeding, but yeah. When I've uh, hooked the fans up, we'll do this again with the fans going. But uh, yeah, I'm just happy to see it going. I'm actually happy to see that into row sewing too, because this is going to be canola. We'll be actually seating on the angle, but yeah, we'll see what happens. A little bit of moisture, and this will be a nightmare to all get blocked. But yeah, no, she's working well. Working, we'll lift up, turn around, head back. So we'll lift our tines up. A little pop up. Turn around. You can see what I mean by how tight, how sharp we can turn this. That's because that steering axle at the back there. Let's see how hard this is going to be. I haven't adjusted the steering sensitivity in here yet. And we'll back them down. We actually might stop. We'll get out and have a look around and just see what it all uh, all looks like out there. With our tines in the ground. Cool. All I'm checking here is just seeing how it's going in the ground. Really, I um. Can check for moisture, but uh, yeah, we're we're still. What are we? We're the 21st of uh, March for me right now, and we don't start seeding until the 11th of April. Uh, sorry, 10th of April. So we're the moisture that's here will go. But I tell you what, if we were seeding into that, that would be ideal. There's absolutely no rain on the horizon whatsoever. So unfortunately, this is all going to dry out by the time we get back into this. But uh, yeah, let's pray for a cyclone. Cyclone would be nice, wet everything up and make it so that we could uh, yeah, be seeding into moisture. But uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens. So everything out there looked good. Uh, even our widths, you know, I haven't, the, the GPS should be right smack bang in the middle of the tractor, but you know, everything is lining up out there. We're lining up in our tram, which is nice. Auto steer's working, which is good. Uh, the main thing that we did want to check, and now I know the bin isn't full, but we wanted to make sure that this thing was going to pull it. 500 horsepower compared to our 520, we weren't too sure. We had to weight up the uh, R 
to its full tonnage. So we put an extra, I think, 1.7 tonne on that. But again, that's probably because the tracks were wider and we didn't have the power to ground. These tracks are, so they were 36, these are 30s, so 30 inch. They, uh, we got more power to the ground with this tractor, even though it's slightly less horsepower. But uh, yeah, what are we with? I don't know if this gives me a, um, a horsepower rating as we're driving along. Our uh, engine power, we're at 47%, and uh, sitting at, what am I, 6.6, .6. bumper up, we'll go up to our, there we go, 8.4, and we are at 54, 58% horsepower. Uh, so yeah, uh, and 58 litres of fuel, 60 litres of fuel an hour. But uh, honestly, very impressed. Uh, again, it's a nice smooth ride in here. I've only done a little small, little small stint, but yeah, it's um, it's nice. It's encouraging, and I want to get into seating. <laughs> Just bring it on already. We're uh, what are we? Three weeks away. Righty, I very happy. Uh, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to leave it here. We've uh, got the accountant um, today, so Dad is coming out of town. So he'll want to go jump in it for a drive. So I'm just going to leave it here and we'll go for a drive later on today. Um, but yeah, very impressed with it so far, how it's um, pulling that, there's no issues. And yeah, I'll tomorrow I'll hook the fans up. We'll get the fans running. We'll do it again, just to make sure that all the fans are connecting. Um, our, all our, uh, looking at the uh, X35 screen, I think everything's going to be fine. Everything else is reading correctly. But I uh, just want to make sure with those fans. And then I can also, when I've got the fans hooked up, I can fold out the auger and make sure that that's all working as well. Uh, but my time's already up. I need to uh, go back home and get on a Zoom meeting. And then, uh, yeah, the account's here. So I'm going to leave it there, everyone. A uh, bit of a short and sweet one when uh, just, well, just doing the one job. But, uh, hey, that's all the job that I did for the day and uh, i'm glad i've done it it's all sorted my stress level's gone down a little bit so uh yeah it's a positive so thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share uh go and have a listen to the glass cage podcast it's on spotify uh apple google i think anywhere you can get a podcast i think i've got it up on everything and uh as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one i got that wrong anyway i'll see you in the next one <laughs>